Sunny, your director of public relations at Four Seasons Hotels Sydney, I would say one of the best Four Seasons hotels in the world, and I know you're responsible for Sydney, but also for the global properties and their selling as well. <coughs> Excuse me. But tell me what's new, what's hot, what's exciting at the Four Seasons in Sydney. Well, at Four Seasons Sydney, we have uh, a new spa which launched mm. last year. Yeah. Um, and that is called Aeon Spa. And we use a lot of beautiful Australian organic ingredients in our spa. Yeah. Um, our restaurant and bar are doing very well. The Woods and Grain launched um, in late 2012. Oh, that's right, yeah. um, and, you know, Grain does some wonderful craft beer, organic yeah. and bi biodynamic wine, yeah. a wonderful variety of whiskey and uh, classic cocktails. And The Woods absolutely is doing fantastically as well, using quality, fresh Australian produce, locally sourced, very sustainable, um, cooked with over beautiful Australian woods native woods from the source from the Blue Mountains. Um, so those are doing absolutely fantastically well and uh, we're seeing more and more visitors come from lots of different international markets. Um, domestically we're quite strong. The US is still number one for us as yeah. well. But definitely I was going to say, are you US dominated because the strength of the Four Seasons brand in the US? Absolutely. Yeah. We've got so many properties in the US and there's yeah. great brand awareness there um, as it is a Canadian yeah. company. And you're the only Four Seasons in Australia? We are, yeah. yeah we're hoping to, to change that. Oh, news. <laughs> Um, oh, I know. No, yeah, we're, we're definitely, um, you know, Four Seasons is on a grand plan of yeah. expansion. So we are opening four new properties this year, mm -hmm. uh, which are in Orlando, Dubai, Seoul in South Korea, yeah. and Johannesburg in South Africa, which is very exciting for us. So so Dubai is an interesting one because it's a very competitive marketplace, but with very high red car and rates and high occupancy. So uh, that will be interesting. Do you know where the Four Seasons Dubai is going to be? I believe it's going to be close to Jumeirah Beach. Yeah, that so makes sense. Yeah. the ultimate location mm. where, where people want to be. So, yeah, Four Seasons has never been in that area before, but of course we've got some wonderful properties um, in the Middle East, yep. and we're going to be opening up in Bahrain as well. Okay, so um, that'll be a good one for us. Of course, the brand's very strong in America, in Canada, yeah. in Europe. And are you responsible for the public relations for the brand um, globally in Australia as well? Uh, mostly I look after the Sydney okay. Hotel. Um, but definitely, you know, I get the chance to visit a lot of Four Seasons properties globally and yeah. I, I love the brand as a whole, so very happy to, you know, to promote our, push our products worldwide. <laughs> Let's talk about Sydney again then. So, you know, Sydney, the Four Seasons Sydney has been a Four Seasons for a long time. It was the Regents originally and so on. It became a Four Seasons. It's one of the longest standing Four Seasons. Um, you know, obviously it's in Australia. What do you think is the core, you know, reason why people come and stay with you? I think it's all about the service. There's nowhere that you'll find that delivers service is quite like Four Seasons and we get people coming back um, again and again, all of our regular guests. I mean our concierge, our driveway staff, they know our guests by name, they know their likes, their dislikes. Yeah. It, it feels like home for them so it's it's a very comfortable stay for them. Um, they have all their needs attended to. Yeah. You know, Four Seasons we never say no, we just find a different way to say yes. I like that, that's, <laughs> that's good. Yeah. What's your favourite place in the hotel? My favourite place in the hotel? Um, <laughs> yeah. But I've got to say, it's, it's a wonderful bar. It was yeah. designed by um, a famous restaurant architect called Michael McCann. Oh, yeah. And it's got some amazing artworks yeah. in there. There's a beautiful work when you walk in. Um, and it's uh, an axolotl artwork. So you've got different axolotls kind of climbing up on each other. Yeah. And some of them are gold. And they're, they're shaded very interestingly. And oh. some beautiful handmade pieces in there. And, and I love sitting by it. There's a fireplace in there. But you can look out um, onto George Street. You yeah. know, the main street of Sydney and to see what's going on with yeah. the world. And it's a great position, isn't it? I mean, just by Circular Quay as well. So you just walk around the corner and you see, and from a large percentage of the rooms, you can see the Harbour Bridge and the Opera House and so on. Kind of, this is uh, pretty iconic Sydney. Absolutely. And imagine Americans must be wowed by it when they go to their room. And there it all is. <laughs> there it is. That, that's the big wow factor, seeing the Harbour Bridge, seeing the Opera House yeah. from your hotel room. So but how many rooms are Swiss? How many rooms? We've got 531 rooms. Okay, it's quite a big hotel. It yeah. is a big hotel, um, but you know, I think we, we seem to... It doesn't to, feel big though. It, it doesn't. No. We seem, to, we seem to, ma to manage it well and we've got four amazing signature suites with you know panoramic views of the harbour and, and it's funny when people, guests come in and they're like, oh they, they've just come in and they go, how do I get to Circular Cape, how do I go see yeah. the Opera House and I'm, I say literally just cross the road and you're yeah. there, <laughs> you, can see, you can see it. Yes, it's all sort of kind of boring really but it's yeah, only down there. It's, you know? it's right there and yeah. you know the Rocks is a wonderful lively place, yes. lots of bars and great restaurants yeah. and the Royal Botanical 
Botanical Gardens is there. So there's so much to do in that area. And of course, walking 10 minutes down the road, you're, you're in the heart of Sydney CBD as well. So we're, well, I think we're blessed without any question. I mean, I think as, a, as an iconic brand within the Sydney CBD, it's really important to have Four Seasons there. I think particularly from an American perspective, because Americans will look for their own brand very often before they look at the destination. So they'll be thinking about the destination, they'll think brand, if there's a Four Seasons there, it must be worth going. <laughs> yeah, which is, it, which is, you know, critical stuff. Where can people find out more information about Four Seasons Hotel South Sydney? Uh, at our website, which is fourseasons.com slash Sydney. We've got all of our information, images, um, everything's up there. Well, brilliant. And thank you very much indeed. You're an amazing director of public relations. You're a happy, smiling person, which is half the job done, okay? Yeah. But I know you're very committed and passionate about your product as well, and that comes over. But thanks for your time today, and I look forward to lots and lots more people and lots and lots more media coming to Four Seasons Sydney and writing and videoing it and uh, filling the hotel to the roof. But I'm told your occupancy is very high as well. It is very mm. high. We, um, we are very busy over the summer period. We have a lot of leisure guests coming yeah. in, and then over the winter period, we do have a lot of corporate guests but yeah. you know always ready and welcoming to, to, to welcome more visitors so where we can fit them in <laughs> thank you for your time today thank you